This way, tarnished. May I have a word? Pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly, as they recall battles past. Now it is thine, to do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Hmm. A Tarnished here. Thou must have some business in mind come all this way, though I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death, and used it to forge the god-slaying black knives through fearsome rite. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-wolven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly, but they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. 
I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can, and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe, if you've forgotten. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber. And it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I've no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Ah. Oh. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? And if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Celebus rarely gives a straight answer. The first time. Hmm. 
thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? That Starsker Dradan holds Rani's fate in stasis. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. Once more into the fray together, eh? <laughs> this might even be fun. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You were a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your offishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. Perhaps you'd be interested in a little scheme of mine. It will produce the finest of puppets, which I aspire to cherish with these very hands. A ploy to fool even Lady Rani. How does that sound? I knew I had you pegged. You're just like me. Then I'd like you to procure something. A rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Procure it for me. The rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. Well, well. You managed to lay your hands on it. The blessed day is finally upon us. Goodness gracious, the way it glistens. Utterly enchanting. To think this was once a demigod's very fate. My, oh my, oh my. Ah. Are you still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please. It's all yours. It's splendid work. It's just marvelous. Now just you wait. The merriment is soon to begin. The scheme I promised is to be revealed very shortly. Ah, it was thee. 
not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path, I see. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. the two fingers that run the witch cometh to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound ne'er to heal. Beautifully fought, my thanks. T'was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's Rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor and, moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. Unthinkable. How could Blythe, how did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet even in madness, gave himself to her, I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. <laughs>